What's up guys, JV2017 here with your daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks videos. Today we're going to look at five common myths in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now these are misconceptions that I've seen in the comments section on my videos. I pulled these straight from my own videos, so I just wanted to clear some things up with you guys because there's some confusion out there. Myth number one, masked robberies. So there's a misconception out there that somehow by putting on a mask, you'll be able to avoid maybe one star of wanted level or something like that. So I'm going to rob this liquor store without a mask first to show you guys. So I'm robbing him right here. Obviously, you know, he gives me the little finger. Got to give him a warning shot. I mean business. Once he fills the bag with cash, I get my first wanted level star in the top right. As you can tell right there, bam, there it is right when the cash hits the ground. And then immediately, right as I get outside, I get my second wanted level star. Now, as you can tell, I've thrown on a mask, my special space monkey mask, and I'm going to rob another store just to compare. Here I am, I'm gonna rob the limited gas station on Grove Street. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I have this sweet hot knife car and this Joker swag. Pretty much they gave uh, Trevor the ability to dress himself like the Joker. I think it's hilarious. Anyways, so same process. I am robbing this guy. This guy decides to pull a shotgun on me and he pays the price for it, obviously. And I don't have a star yet. Even though I had to kill the store clerk, it seems like the first thing that triggers your wanted level is touching the money. So I'm filling up my pockets here and you will tell in the top right that bam, I just got my first star. And then as I make my escape out, bam, second star, right as I leave the store. So it doesn't matter if you're wearing a mask or not. The mask does absolutely nothing in story mode when you're robbing. Now, I think initially this misconception came from the fact that you could probably take off and put on your mask in GTA Online. Unfortunately, that's not out yet, and when it is, I will definitely be testing that for you guys, but the myth that you could somehow use your mask to avoid a wanted level or something, that myth is busted. On a very similar note, there's also been a myth out there about the safes that are located in the back of 24-7 supermarkets and limited gas stations, and if you could blow them open to get extra money while you are robbing stores. To test that, I went to the back of the store that I just showed you guys that I robbed and threw a sticky bomb and decided to shoot an RPG at this safe to see if it would open. And as you can tell right here, I detonated that sticky bomb, no money bag fell out of that safe, and then I'm gonna shoot it with an RPG just to make sure right here and just, nope, nothing happens at all. And just to make, you know, 100% sure, I shot it with this LMG and no money bag falls out. So the myth that you can blow open the safes in the back of stores and steal extra money is busted. The next myth that you guys have asked a billion of questions about, especially on my property videos, is about safe houses. Can you purchase a safe house or a penthouse or something like that in the single player? And the short answer is no. Now without getting into any spoilers, you will switch safe house locations with each character at least once in the game, just to give you guys kind of a heads up. But you can't just go out and buy a property and live there, similar to what you could do in Grand Theft Auto 4 or San Andreas. That myth is busted. The next myth is about girlfriends. In this game, you cannot have girlfriends, and I think Rockstar kind of addressed this, and they said it really didn't fit with the story to just interject these you know, girlfriends that you could go and take out on a date and whatever and that kind of thing like you could in other, you know, previous Grand Theft Autos. There are no girlfriends in this game, but there are figures like Franklin's Tanisha, or, you know, if you perform a booty call, you can do that as well, but they're not really girlfriends. But in this game, there are no girlfriends that is busted. The last thing I noticed you guys were asking me a ton about is time and how it relates to your weekly income if you chose to buy property. Now I feel like I want to make a whole other video concerning time and how it works in this game and how to advance it and all that, but just real quick, the way time works and how long a week is in Grand Theft Auto is 5.6 hours of real time. So a week in Grand Theft Auto, you know, a week for your cycle of payment to go through, takes 5.6 hours of you playing the game, actual real time. Now you can choose to advance that time through the game, and again, if I were to look at the numbers, I'd want to do a whole other video and show you guys how many times you need to sleep to, you know, advance a week or whatever. But just in general, without completing any missions that would advance time, it takes straight up 5.6 hours of real life playing time in order to advance a week of in-game time. So even though that really wasn't like a busted myth, busted. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. Now I was thinking maybe I could turn this into like a myth series and I won't lie, 
I've seen plenty of like myth busters and busted myth videos about Grand Theft Auto 5 and you know it's a common thing. I could turn it into a series for you guys if you want something I do every week and just kind of pay attention to comments and things you guys ask me and whatnot and just make videos off of comments. I mean that makes sense to me and that's not really copying or stealing somebody else's idea if I do it that way and I take it directly from my videos. You know what, actually that's exactly how I would do it if I were to do a series. I would bust some myths and then ask you guys at the end, hey, comment below with a myth that you want me to bust and then I would bust it. So let me know in the comments below, number one, if you are interested in that kind of series and then number two, give me a myth to bust so I can start getting a list of things to do and make that video once per week. If you learned something new from this video, please remember to click that like button, I would really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto V content coming to my channel very, very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace!